Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining me again on another Make It With Me Monday, our last one for the month of August. Anybody have kiddos back in school yet? I know mine doesn't start till after Labor Day, so we have one more week and weekend, uh, but he did have to go today and um, grab his schedule and take his picture, get his ID, all that fun stuff. So he is all ready to go for sophomore year in high school, which sounds crazy for me to say sometimes. <laughs> Hard to believe he is that old sometimes. Alrighty, I'm gonna start by showing you just a couple of things I'm gonna be working with tonight. Hey, Kathy Joe, good to see you tonight. Uh, I'm gonna be using two different bundles. One is in the mini catalog here. This is the Bewitching Bundle. It comes with a punch and then the, the stamp set here. The punch will cut out all three of the hats. And then there, hi, Kathy, good to see you tonight. Uh, there's this really cute little witch boots, spider and some stars. Hi, Mary Lynn. Yay, love to see everybody popping in here. Um, and you, when you punch out the hat, you'll also get a piece for the brim and some bonus stars if you would like to use those on a project as well. So that's one thing that I'm going to be using tonight. That's on page 57 of the mini catalog. Just throw that up and out of the way. Then the other one I'm going to be using tonight is called Alpha Best. That's in the annual catalog on page 115. And you get an entire alphabet set. Uh, it's photopolymer, so you can see through them, which is kind of nice. And they also have these cute little things to put around the letters itself. And they'll, since that's photopolymer, you'll be able to see, of course, where you're placing everything. And then there's a matching punch that will punch out that little shape. So you can punch out just the letter or the letter that you've put inside one of these cute little borders, anything like that. So those are two, i uh, see, this one is on page 115 of the annual catalog. So those are two of the bundles I'm going to be working with tonight on my sample that we're doing here right now. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with what you were supposed to have a handy for tonight. You need a piece of card deck. In case you couldn't tell, we are going to be doing, um, essentially a fun fold. So we are going to actually, you know what? I have black card stack tonight. I'm going to go ahead and remove this, which of course is taped down. So give me just one second here. Very carefully. That's so it doesn't move when I'm doing other things. <laughs> okay. So my piece of card stack is black and it's a five and a half by seven. And then you were supposed to score it at four and a quarter. And then it's the same colored cardstock, four by four, and have it scored at three inches. Okay, so again, mine are both basic black. You needed some two pieces of neutral cardstock, one four by five and a quarter, and one that's two and three quarter by three and three quarter. Mine are both basic white. Then a sheet of designer series paper, two and a half by five and a quarter. I am using the metallic and shimmer paper. Uh, that's in the mini catalog, and you get these three colors, color combos. Uh, so this is black, silver, and white. This one is evergreen and gold. Go, Pat, go. <laughs> and this one is Cajun and pumpkin. So you've kind of got a variety of different um, looks you can use for fall colors. These are great for just general celebrations. You can think Christmas. You could think holidays of some sorts, weddings. They're just really pretty. Uh, flashy and they have this the whole paper itself has a glimmer effect to it so you can see up here where just the plain color is that's all glimmered and then it's all glimmer behind these really cool uh, pieces or designs I should say that have those extra colors in them all right so I'm using one sheet of that and I use the black silver and white version and then you just need a focal point that is about eh, two and a half by two and a half and then some kind of small phrase and then we're going to start uh, right, Kathy, that paper is just, it's one of those things that you need to have it in your hand to see just how beautiful and sparkly it is. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and start by focusing on that focal point image. It's all going to end up going on your neutral piece. That's the two and three quarter by three and three quarter. So for my focal point piece, I'm actually going to take the witch hat that I showed you earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that in memento. My grape is for later. So memento black on a piece of Highland Heather. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some extra color into the brim using my Highland Heather blend. So I'm just gonna darken up where the brim is just a little bit. And that's gonna give it the feel that it has something extra going on there. And remember with the blend, the more you go over it, the more color saturation you get and the more dimension. So you kind of see it's a little darker there, heading over into a light. And then as always, I recommend um, stamp first, punch second. So here we go with my punch. 
You can see it just slides right in there. Oops, I got cut off a little bit of the corner of my paper because the hat sits on an angle in the punch part. So I gotta make sure my paper gets in there. Okay, I'm gonna line it up looking at myself so I can see better and then I will hold it down for you guys. All right, so while you're working on your focal points, okay, so there you go. You see, I'm gonna get some little stars out of this too. Whee! <laughs> okay, so there's my hat. There's one of my stars, the other was one flying. <laughs> there's the piece of the brim that pops out. I'm not gonna, oh, there's my stars. They stayed inside my punch. Um, I'm not gonna use that particular piece right now, but I will probably set it aside in my stamp set so that if I'm ever doing another project later, I already have a little brim that's Highland Heather if I want it. Okay, now your focal point is going to sit kind of in the top two thirds of this panel right here. And then your phrase can be down here and you can decide if you wanna have it shifted to the right more centered, more left, whatever you decide you want to do. I'm going to spell the word boo for a spooky Halloween card. Because that's three letters long, I'm going to start with my O in the middle and then build off of that. Okay. And then there's another O and my B. Whoop. And this is why we have two sides of the paper, my friends, and why I stamp first before I attach it to anything. I'm going to need to lean over <laughs> a little bit more because I didn't have my pressure all the way down. And I couldn't quite tell on that one. There we go. All right, now we're going to get a full B on that one. There we go. So now I have Boo. And I'm going to go ahead and I forgot to bring my dimensionals over. So I'm not going to pop that one up on dimensionals right now. I'm just going to take that right down. All right, so there is my focal point and there is my phrase. So we'll set that aside for a second and I'll probably grab my glue dots later because I want to eventually, I'm going to use these little stars to dress that up a little bit. Okay. All right. Let's do some card assembly. First thing I want you to do is take that four by four piece that you've scored at a three inch length so that you have a piece that's one inch long. And I want you to grab your neutral piece that's four by five and a quarter. Now these pieces are going to go together like this. So we're going to put some adhesive on the inside of that panel right there so that it can open off to the side. Okay. So you only want the adhesive on this one inch part here. That's going to get tucked behind the back and you want it about centered probably. So I just kind of eyeball. It looks pretty close. And then I'm just going to push that close on the back, give it a little burnish. And now I have my piece that opens up like so. Okay. Now go ahead. This is your card base. Let's go ahead and fold that at that four and a quarter mark and give that a good burnish. Your designer series, this is part is going to open to the left. And this flap here is where your designer series paper goes. So let's go ahead and adhere that on there. Like so. And that's going to, like I said, that goes on the flap that will open to the left. And this part here that remains is now the normal size of the inside of a normal card, if that makes sense. <laughs> it is the four and a quarter by five and a half inch size. So this panel here, now you're going to put the adhesive on the back of this. That's going to sit inside here with a little bit of a border all the way around. So when your finished card closes, you're going to close like so. All right. So now you can attach whatever you've done for your focal point image. That panel there is going to pop on right there. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. And then while you guys are finishing that up, I'm gonna grab my glue dots so that I can put my stars on there like I had planned. They're just on the other side of the desk. So just give me one second here. All right. So I thought that was kind of a fun fold. I got that um, as a swap. This is the one I got as a swap from a fellow demonstrator. Um, I like that she used this really pretty die cut. She used some um, embossing on her panel here. Thought that one was really, really cute. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my stars and then I will show you the rest of the samples I made for you. I did kind of a variety this week. And amazingly, you guys, I didn't use Hues of Happiness. <gasps> what? <laughs> Kathy, beautiful, exactly, right? It's beautiful. Uh, probably, what, another couple of weeks and we might feel a little more in the Halloween spirit. Today was a hot and muggy day, I heard. So I don't know if it's like we're going to feel too uh, hot or I mean, it doesn't feel cool and spooky yet outside, but 
we can feel that way when we're inside <laughs> when we're stamping right okay so there there we go there's my stars just <coughs> excuse me dresses it up just a little bit to finish off some of that white space all right and then i'm gonna go i'll take this out of the packaging i got this from a fellow demonstrator linda larson in a swap and i loved how she used the wreath and then some of this plaid paper as well to cut out the bow part of it. I thought that was really cute. She added some embossing to her layer and there's her inside. So this is that Gingham Cottage uh, designer series paper. It's in the mini catalog. I cannot say enough good things about the Gingham Cottage paper. Love, 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 love. Okay, so my first one, extra bonus sample. Uh, this one had, the only thing I stamped was the happy anniversary and this is from, um, let me double check the stamp set here for you the da, da, da. okay I wrote it down somewhere celebrating you there we go celebrating you has a whole bunch of phrases for a variety of occasions and then I use that it's the or he's the man designer series paper that has those those punch outs and so this is a yeah, it's an anniversary card but with a little masculine more twist you know I send a lot of them that are pretty and flowery and whatever and sometimes the couple is just you know they're not that kind of people so cheers to your years happy anniversary um, and then this one is from um, I think that's that same designer series paper. So, and I use crumb cake and espresso. I use crumb cake as my neutral in this case. And then espresso is my base layer. I will list all of the stuff on when I post the video and post the pictures, you'll get a whole list of everything I've used, including page numbers and where to find it, etc. cetera. Um, this is one of my favorite ones I did. I use the soft seedling stamp set and I use a technique called thumping. I'm not sure how many of you are aware of this one. I'm going to do a video about it. Uh, in the next week or so and if, for those of you that like to have it perfect or quote perfect the same every time you're not gonna like this technique because <laughs> it's never gonna turn out the same twice uh, but what I started with I inked up the stamp in I believe it was crushed curry and then I took four different colors of my regular stamp and write markers not the blends the stamp and write markers and I just hit them like I was holding a drumstick tapped it all over the yellow and then blend the, they kind of blends together and then I stamped it. So you get a little hint of, there was two different shades of like a dark red, I think it was Cobbler and Merlot. I used Pumpkin, I used Cajun, and it just comes out with this model -y kind of look. So that was kind of a fun technique, but again, if you don't like, <laughs> if you want it to be the same every time, you're not gonna like it as much, but it's super, super fun to play with. I also use that leaf embossing folder, the same that Linda used. It's on my panel here and it's also on my inside. Uh, there we go, I think you can see it there. And it'll show up better on camera too when I take the solid picture. All right, so there's that one. <clears throat> this uses a little bit of that designer series paper from Celebration. We just have a couple more days left. That ends on August 31st, guys. So if there's anything you wanted out of that Celebration catalog, make sure you grab it before it's gone. Uh, so this piece, this pieces here are from that particular one. I also added an extra layer of cardstock behind them. So there's a balmy blue layer before you get to my base layer of Night of Navy. And I did cut one of the little birdies out from the paper and popped him up. Otherwise, this is just a two and a half inch ish size circle cut from my layering circle dies. Same with this one, layering circle dies. Um, all right, and then I did go back to my butterflies. I am loving these butterfly kisses. Uh, all I honestly got was the designer shears paper, guys. I didn't get the stamp set. I just am in love with the paper. So I keep doing some fussy cutting, uh, doing stuff like that, but I, I love, love, love this. This, uh, and it comes in that six by six size, so small, cute, easy to use. Um, so again, the layering circles, I just used one of the scalloped ones instead. And then I added a couple more of the cut butterflies. As you open it up, you'll see more of them showing through, okay? And then lastly, let me move these out of the way for a second. Here's my stepped up version of what I showed you here. Ta-da! Okay, so what I did here, you can see I have a similar concept for the hat, but instead of the brim, I added, I used washi tape and I used washi tape here. I did the letters in those little frames like I showed you and then punched them out so they do stand up off the card, okay? This part here is popped up as well. I added more washi across here. Now this glitter washi tape is in the catalog on the same page as the bewitching and look at how fun and sparkly that is. You get the pumpkin, the grape, the parakeet, and the black. Oh my gosh, they're so fun to play with. I love, 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 love these guys. Um, and then I added a little bit more washi uh, in here just for a little something else to be on the inside. But I kind of love the way that turned out. Um, and when I stamped her boots, I did use my blend again to color in the buckle and the socks. So it looks like that witch hat has just a couple little feet. <laughs> but those were super fun to play with. 
Um, I love punch bundles. I know I, I love my, um, my die cuts and stuff, but every once in a while to be able to just get it done with a punch quick and easy is definitely the way to go. So I love those punch bundles. Um, this little punch just by itself, the one that cut out the shapes for the things, is just totally adorable. And I am waiting to find other things that will fit in there because I just think it's adorable. Cute little size, really fun to use. Okay, everybody, I think that will do it for me for tonight. Uh, I hope to see you again. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna be live or not. Next Monday is Labor Day, and I just have to figure out the family plans if we're gonna be back in time. I will set something up either way so that there's a video to watch if I'm not live. So you can go ahead and stamp with me whenever you want, of course, anytime with a video. So uh, they're always on the Facebook page. I upload them to my YouTube site. Uh, so you can go back and look at any ones you've missed or if you need a refresher, anytime, they're all right here. All right, remember to share with me what you guys made. I can't wait to see what you guys did with this layout. Thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks, Kathy, Kathy, and uh, Mary Lynn. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you guys all next week, whether we're live or not. <laughs> Take care, everyone.